Hi Scorpio, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your reading for November 1st through the 7th for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I'll be using the Celtic Crow spread, just general messages, whatever the universe wants you to know. Keep in mind, because they are general, they might not resonate with everyone, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you are interested in the extended, you can find the link in the description box below. Alright, so what does Scorpio need to know, please? Where are the energies for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 1st through the 7th? One more. The Knight of Cups, okay. Love, actions towards love, we will see. The overall situation is a seven of wands. It looks like you are trying to stand above all the obstacles and challenges that are coming towards you. Mars in Leo. It's like you feel a certain challenge, but you're handling it. And this is because of a choice. What's coming in, it looks like a choice. Uh, with the two of wands, it's always, I've said it before, it's uh, especially because it's both fire, Aries energy. It's like someone that feels like, what is my best outcome here or my best choice how i'm going towards it so this i'm holding my ground i'm holding here whatever opposition's coming towards me i have the upper hand or i'm standing above and it's because of a choice of intentions being set determination wow a lot of wands uh the eight of wands it has to do now the seven of wands is the obstacles that you have to face the eight of wands is saying that this is swift movement it looks like things are happening fast immediate mercury in sagittarius we have um aries leo and sagittarius all the fire signs here something is coming quick towards you and you feel like you have to handle it uh and see what is this choice what do you have to do and this is happening because in the recent past there's been some type of unpredictable or sudden changes favorable I'm, I'm getting favorable things for you guys movement actions things happening the will of fortune can be very um, faded or destined but it's something here that is so unpredictable it's just comes and then we have to decide what is next what do we do what is this choice wow the six of swords came um in the reversed i don't do reversals but i'm going to read it both way now you feel like that's interesting because the six of swords is wants to move forward i want to clarify that and see because that to me feels like you still may be stuck in your mind it's like there there needs to be a smooth sailing now if we look at that um in the upright is like you feel like this is time for smooth sailing but some of you may be um uh, feeling conflicted still holding back still not seeing here where am i going what is this journey uh so be aware of that i'm going to when i clarify i want to see because i don't do reversals but the six of swords to me uh in the reverses is no movement is just is mercury you have mercury in sagittarius here and you have mercury in aquarius both these go together um fire and air fuel each other are all about movement but there may be something here that you feel will um kind of sabotage you ten of pentacles is beautiful we have wealth family and commitment if this is regarding some type of um, prosperity or you waiting for some type of money or inheritance to come in it's coming with the ten of pentacles but also this is something about a family situation a commitment you might, uh, because always when I look at these Ten of Pentacles, I always see that there's someone here that is looking at uh, this picture of a family, what it is to have commitment, what do I want to achieve, how do I want to go about it. So this may be you looking or what's coming towards you with this decision. Remember, there's someone that has to make uh, an important decision of where am I going. The Ten of Pentacles, which is Virgo. And Earth just tells me that there's something about commitment and prosperity and wealth that is coming towards you. If you're waiting for some type of money, this is the best, guys. How you see yourself. You want to work things out. You feel like I want to put effort. I want to collaborate. You're putting that foundation down. 
you're building for this ten of pentacles external to you this is what you don't see there's i keep getting so much movement for you guys the chariot someone from a distance for some of you it does not have to be there's someone that wants to come towards you or what you don't see there's going to be movement there's going to be important decision the chariot here has a clear direction of where they want to go so i feel like someone here is like this is it i'm going the Knight of Swords is what you have, have in your hopes and fears. So you're hoping that whatever the obstacles, again, coming with decision here, it's just someone that is very clear. I'm going swiftly. I've decided there's nothing that can stop me on my way. I keep getting that energy for you all over the place. And this is what you want. The Knight of Swords is so direct and so decisive when it comes to communication, about wealth, about family about the obstacles that have been on your way for whatever it is that because this is what you want this is at the heart of it you want this swift quick movement from a distance from a person for, for things here that you have worked it's just you feel like i have to make this decision that is in my best interest or i can see longevity that's the two of ones is even if you are stuck here between two good choices that is one that if you look at the vision if if you feel like okay i have these two situation here where where do i go I know that something has happened to push you um, recently. An awareness, energetically, you'll know here. If I look at, you know, a year from now, where will I be? And he's saying you'll be here with someone here that you can see your life. You can see your, uh, you know, living with this person. Or you can see the wealth and the prosperity. And that Knight of Swords is someone that is not going to stay back and hold and think it's just going to be very decisive so let's see what is the best possible outcome i don't know why these two cards wanted to come together i picked one and they both came uh it's such a scorpio the king of cups and the death first of all this is very scorpionic energy for some of you i feel like the king of cups is someone that is ready to open their heart purge there's a door closing there's transformation this transformation is coming regarding someone's feelings. That's the best possible outcome. So this tells me that whatever these two choices, that has to come from the heart. Because the death card does uh, speak of transformation, but also speak of something ending. And you know that you have to close a door behind. But it's because the King of Cups knows already here. I don't know if this is you towards this person, that you're ready to open up or offer love to someone. But remember, this is a commitment. This is family. This is marriage. So that's what is going to be your best possible outcome. Someone that makes a decision from the heart. Listen to their intuition. The voices of your heart are stronger. Or if this is, um, if this is not you, this person is coming towards you as the best uh, choice. All right. So let's see. What is this seven of wands? One more. The Nine of Pentacles. Have I mentioned for those that have been following me that the Nine of Pentacles has been consistent for Scorpios? And I've mentioned it this whole year. For most Scorpios here is their individual self, their well-being, their financial. Am I well off by myself? Am I achieving here what I want? So this is dealing with whatever the obstacles and challenges here when it comes to your own self to your own money, to your own freedom first. We cannot be good here for have this commitment with someone if we don't feel first accomplished ourselves. So there's something here that you are standing your ground and overcoming um, any type of obstacles or challenges when it comes to your own wealth, to your own well-being. There's something about you individually here that you have to protect or you're standing your ground to achieve that. And these two, again, remember, your what's coming in is that commitment or is that from the Nine of Pentacles going to the Ten of Pentacles, you achieve that. If there's been a, about you having this money or this wealth or, you know, uh, this establishment, that's what your situation, you are going to overcome it. You are so determined. Mars in Leo is very determined and I love the placement of Mars in Leo um, in this case. There's so much heart, there's so much courage, there's someone here that whatever the opposition, they are ready to handle. They're protecting. Remember, it comes after the six of wands, after someone that already feels like they have gained something or they have something to treasure or protect. But you're fighting there for your own uh, freedom, financial freedom, well-being. 
and uh, in this situation whatever it is that you want to achieve when it comes to your wealth to your money what is the two of wands here one more the king of pentacles oh wow um remember i said it's a choice here and the king of cups is the best possible outcome whatever it is about wealth money that's the choice that is coming now for some of you you may be dealing with two people or this person that is coming because this is what's coming towards you as you're trying to protect yourself and hold on to those situation that you're dealing here i i fought for this for my own individual self and money so the the a, a challenge or the things that is coming the challenge is that this person between someone that is looking at their financial situation earth and water some of you may be dealing with as i mentioned two people but there's a choice that is coming what do i do which where do i go that provides both of this so this king of pentacles is coming towards or is challenging you with this choice now if this is you is saying you might be uh between the money financial situation your security and something here that you have to follow your heart so let's see what is this eight of wands one more okay so you're moving four of swords that eight of wands is you have been waiting communication maybe have not has been something here you have not received so you feel like now you're ready to awaken from the four of swords it's time for communication it's time for swift action that's what that eight of wands um means it's just a swift quick abrupt action something that you have been lingering the ace of cups is here with the will of fortune so definitely there's something new that is coming in you have been waiting for this communication or um, things to change quickly some of you traveling or moving forward so what happened with this will of fortune here in the recent past now we're looking a week ahead here so this may be today or tomorrow for you guys one more the three of pentacles uh now you see yourself with the three of pentacles so this change it looks like something came towards you that you needed to work out because you see yourself with the three of pentacles so this change, it looks like some type of um, gathering. This is Mars, by the way, in Capricorn. Ga gathering some type of uh, things here or work or putting effort. It's like you got the material. Something came towards you that now you feel like, okay, now I can put effort. I want to put effort. I want to work towards this. It's like a partnership, a friendship or some type of... Um, I feel like some type of material things that helped you move forward. What is this three of pentacles? I always see the pentacles as someone that finally has things to work with. Is manifestation of some type of uh, wealth, money, friendship. Something came suddenly, changed the way you, you know, you can now move forward manifesting this. What is this three of pentacles? One more yeah the page of wands there's something that came towards you guys you may be also looking at you know gathering information wanting to explore something i feel like it has to do with work mostly for some of you here but also a friendship that you have with someone waiting for something to change where both you and this person again i'm going to look at two because i know that you're building something here so there's been some type of exciting news or some type of changes in the way that you want it now to go towards. I like the Three of Pentacles because in this case, it's very practical. It's someone that builds a foundation or is ready to build a foundation. Um, but I feel like you gathered something here that moved you forward um, in what you wanted to build, what you wanted to accomplish. For some of you, friendship, as I mentioned, and collaboration. What is the Six of Swords in your mind, in your thinking? Some of you may be dealing with earth sign as well here because I'm getting a lot of earth. Six of swords reverse. What is the meaning, please? One more. Oh, wow. Okay. So it was supposed to be the six of swords upright. 
movement you're letting conflict be oh my goodness look at that how interesting what is this one more the queen of cups two people here together the six of cups is here with the moon there's some the knight of cups again there's something here guys that you're going towards uh for some of you again it may be a situation from the past someone you have known but mostly this is someone that uh, you feel like you have known this person or they balance you emotionally. Uh, this is the mirroring. So uh, the best situation that you think to move is towards this Queen of Cups or towards someone here that matches. Remember, the best possible outcome is the King of Cups. You and someone here um, are mirroring souls. That's how I see it. Are um, the other half of each other. It's like you can, with a marriage here, two people that look at each other, hey, we can be married, we can have a family together. So let's see, what is this Ten of Pentacles, the immediate situation that is coming in? One more. I'm sorry if I shuffle too much, but I need always to kind of get the moment. The Queen of Swords is coming in. There's someone here now, I'm saying, because uh, we have the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, I feel like the Queen of Swords is this person that is looking at uh, this family as, as, as this marriage or commitment. Someone here that may be divorced, single, or looking objectively. What is this? What is the Queen of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles? One more. Wow, the Nine of Wands. Someone that is watching here. Guarded, cautious. There is a commitment marriage, but there, I feel like someone is watching uh, this and being very guarded. What is this? What a complicated situation. One more. The three of wands. Someone and the world here. Um, now, remember, I said that there's a choice. So I'm trying to connect with this. There, there's someone here that is used to to being um or single or independent because of that nine of pentacles as i mentioned you have to make a choice i feel like someone is watching here from afar very cautious but expecting waiting for something to come in now if the queen of swords is you and i've seen um scorpio being a, the queen of swords a lot this year always kind of you know staying detached especially if someone has been single or hurt or betrayed because there's a choice, as I mentioned, or you towards them, you'll know. But I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is, com is coming as someone that is waiting, expecting, but very guarded, very objective regarding this commitment. Like there is this picture perfect here. There is this commitment that someone, but the Queen of Swords is kind of looking at it objectively and very guarded when it comes to opening up or putting those intentions. If this is tied to the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands. As I mentioned, once someone decides this is where I'm going, this is where I'm doing, now they have expectations. I've decided here. This is my choice. The King of Pentacles is coming with a choice. The Queen of Swords is looking and very guarded to know that, okay, what are my expectations? Should I expect this? So I feel like there's uh, there's a cautious approach when it comes to this Queen of Swords. She Though, again, in your mind, in your thinking, or how you see things, is that the Queen of Swords is very open and ready to move forward. At the same time, there's uh, someone here that is not that ready to open up their home or um, believe in this uh, kind of, you know, happily ever after picture. There's a guarded, um, apprehensive energy regarding someone's expectations regarding commitment. What is the Three of Pentacles? Now, you do see yourself that you can work this out or you want to... To participate in this situation. What is this? One more. The Knight of Pentacles. You you seem very methodical. Such a, a um, Virgo energy and uh, Capricorn there. You you're looking at what do you need to to what's your approach? How are you gonna go about it? Very methodical. Very careful. You are going to plan out. But unlike the Knight of Cups, again, I feel like you are. Using mostly here your common sense or your careful approach, Scorpio. You're planning very careful this situation. You will look at friendship and you want here like someone to, to draw a map. You're manifesting longevity, financial abundance, and even friendship. But I don't think you will be uh, you're ready to, uh, to go open your heart here right away. 
It's just a careful approach regarding your actions and collaboration with uh, this situation. That's your behavior. So what is this chariot external to you? One more. Someone, was such a cancer energy. Someone here that has been lingering, holding on for the offer now wants to come towards you quickly. I feel like someone that has been waiting or you've been waiting for this person. One more. Again, you don't see this yet. Someone is manifesting to get out of that waiting limbo, unsatisfied, settling and coming forward. So someone here is charging in or wants to get out of that situation. There's a lot of manifestation, a lot of thinking and movement forward. This is what's happening. Again, because it's external, this does not, this is not you. This is outside influences, but someone here has decided to manifest and move forward. Is thinking, is thinking. What is, uh, how do I uh, go forward here? How do I move forward? What uh, direction do I go in? Why do you have the Knight of Swords in your hopes and fears? One more. Nine of Swords. You are very worried about uh, this communication though. You've been thinking, you feel uh, restless, anxious about this quick swift. Because remember, your attitude is the Knight of Pentacles, completely different from that. Like, let me build something, let me work, let's start this friendship, or let's see. And that Knight of Swords is very quick. What is this about? One more. Yeah, there's a new beginning, the chariot here. In your hopes and fears, there's this quick, swift, uh, decisive moment, especially communication, but you're very anxious about trusting or going with this leap of faith. It, it, it is brand new. It's something here out of the blue again, uh, completely a new relationship, a new adventure of going towards something here that uh, feels in a way blindly. Remember, I said that the decision here that is coming in that someone wants to be clear where the direction is. But uh, in your hopes and fears, you're fearful that that's not the case, that there's something here that it's completely from the beginning. Trusting this journey without knowing exactly where you're going. That's what scares you. You also may be thinking again, will this person ever take this leap of faith or will this situation, are they ready to make this uh, decision? So let's see what is this King of Cups with a death card. One more. The Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. Guys, It's uh, you have had actually, even for November, I think you had a good reading, the monthlies. Um, this is a wish fulfillment that is coming from someone here from the heart. Piscean energy, I have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. It doesn't have to. Again, I have Virgo, I have Earth signs, Libra and so on and Gemini. But uh, your best situation is to go after what you desire and to have this, what you desire, this wish fulfillment, that means that something here has to close, a chapter has to close or something has to change. But go with your heart, go with your emotions. You are going to be fulfilled, Scorpio. We'll see in the extended what's going on with your love life. Thank you. Bye-bye.